My name is Landon Tucker with Honest Networks, and I'm here to discuss the future of residential connectivity. Really exciting time for connectivity. We are really at the epicenter of two trends. Um, the first is accelerating shifts in consumer behavior, how consumers are consuming content. And we are also in the midst of the very early stages of 5G technology, the ability to use wireless technology that's becoming very efficient to effectively recreate and build on the incumbent business models and do it in a much more efficient and friendly way. For, uh, for real estate owners and managers, the key for you is not only will there be new service providers that have a lot more new innovative business models, but what we're also going to see is a real opportunity for differentiation uh, in terms of residential connectivity. Um, what we're seeing is that property owners and managers are looking to use connectivity to drive relative positioning with new and, and existing tenants. They're using connectivity to really differentiate their product and drive, uh, drive pricing and drive value. Um, and they're also using it to improve tenant satisfaction. In terms of consumer behavior, what we're seeing is that there's an accelerating shift in terms of cord cutting, that we have uh, more and more millennials and Gen Xers are getting rid of cable. In fact, 94% of 18 to 29 year olds are primarily streaming. And what they're doing is they're not doing it for price, they're doing it because they see less perceived need for a cable television package. And what's really interesting about that is when you have this massive cord cutting, you see a transition in connectivity. Internet is no longer complementary to a cable television package, it's actually a utility in and of itself for building owners. It's as ubiquitous and as important as water and electricity. So what's actually happening though is that consumers aren't really happy with what they have now. They are being pushed a bundled product. Um, they're, they're being trained to have an internet solution in their building that's built on promotional offers. And because these companies in your buildings today, the larger cable companies and the telcos, they haven't had to build on uh, a really have, have a really great customer service culture because they've been effectively monopolies in your building. And what's really exciting is this is about to change in a dramatic fashion. And what we're able to do now with a combination of fiber optics and 5G technology is to effectively build and improve upon and recreate what the cable companies and the telcos have done in basically building out a new great internet network over the air and in the streets. And if you deploy internet networks in this way, it's a massive improvement in terms of efficiency. It's an incredibly uh, capital efficient way to build out networks. And it's also a very timely way to add connectivity to your building. You can be installing new internet networks in days or weeks, not months or years. You all have internet in your buildings, so the question you might be asking is, is this better or is this the same or worse than what I already have in my building? Let's go back to what we said before, which is if internet is becoming a utility, how do we think about valuing the utility of a utility? We think about the speed, the price you offer, the customer service, and the reliability. This is Honest Networks. We're the fastest residential internet provider in the country. We offer only gigabit, one to 10 gigs of, of capacity, fastest speeds in the world, ultra reliable connectivity. For $50 a month, we're less than half of the cost of the incumbent providers. And because of the way we architected our network, it is ultra low latency, which means there's essentially no delay in which tenants request service and, get, and, and receive it. And so we are becoming an alternative option in multifamily properties and seeing amazing customer, transact, customer uh, uptake in the buildings. If you see here, um, tenants have been really excited by having an alternative choice in the building, effectively saying, blown away by the service, the price, the, the, the quality of the network they're getting. Um, and and when, you, when you have a product that's becoming a utility, as I mentioned before, what that means is, you know, for you as a real estate owner or manager, how can you take advantage of this? How are you going to 
use this innovation and connectivity to differentiate your buildings. The number one differentiation opportunity we see, and this is from mom and pops with, with smaller multifamily buildings all the way up to the largest developers in all of Manhattan, is performance. People want to say, you come into this building, you have the fastest residential internet in the entire, uh, in the entire country because we have honest networks. Imagine you have a 300 unit building. You're seeing about 140 of those units turn over every year. Take out seasonally adjusting. You're looking at 12 different conversations you're having with existing tenants who are thinking about moving out and going to a competitor. You have 12 conversations with new residents that are looking at a wide variety of buildings. If just a few of those say, oh, you have the fastest internet in the entire country in this building, that's pretty cool. And you're able to convert them into your building and drive occupancy and drive rate, that's a home run for you, considering that we're actually free for building owners. We're just another option in the building. Another great opportunity for differentiation is on Wi-Fi. We see a massive gap between ubiquitous Wi-Fi, which we believe millennials and Gen Xers are looking for. In terms of Wi-Fi, there's a massive opportunity. Uh, for instance, when, when Honest Networks comes in, we bring in ubiquitous Wi-Fi into common areas, into fitness centers, rooftops, um, for your, for your live-in super, all of that is complimentary service because our goal is to improve tenant satisfaction in the building. Um, also, service is a, is, a, is a great option in terms of driving differentiation. Working with a new innovative provider, you can have it such that internet is on. It's like water when the tenant shows up. It really drives the tenant experience. Um, having unprecedented connectivity visibility in your building could be great in terms of dealing with tenant issues. So we have a connectivity dashboard where we have API integration with all of our, our connectivity data so that you can know over the past 24 hours or even 24 months the speed, reliability, and performance at each one of the buildings in your portfolio. And then finally, on the left side, if you want to give your, your residents more choice, more affordability, they can often save a lot of money every month by switching to um, an internet product and streaming versus sticking with the incumbent uh, bundled product. And then some final considerations for, for real estate professionals are future-proofing your building when you can. Um, for instance, at Honest, we bring fiber into the vertical riser into every building we go into. That future-proofs the building in terms of giving you outstanding capacity and performance, um, but it also improves the resident experience when you have great infrastructure in the building, and it increases the value of the building to you. So if you can do that and you're thinking about bringing in another provider, ask about how they're wiring up their building because you want to make sure that when you're working with a new provider, they're future-proofing your building and really adding value to it if you're giving them the opportunity to sell into the residence. The second is aesthetics. Make sure you understand what equipment's going into your building. All providers have a wide variety of equipment they use, and there is really great small form factor um, aesthetically pleasing installations that can be done now where the resident doesn't even really notice the equipment. You don't have to have crappy plastic in your, in your hallways or in your units. That's something that uh, we'd be happy to touch on more. And then finally, IT and security. Um, increasingly, I know many of you are looking to get more data out of your buildings. You're looking to use IoT, BMS systems, security systems. If you're backing that information up in the, to a public cloud computing provider or you're using the public internet, oftentimes if you work with a provider, you can get secure direct cloud connectivity access, which, which prevents any risks of a security threat to your building. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to, to reach out to myself or, or any other member of our team. Thank you.